Son of a bitch, I fucking did that 30 seconds ago. Yeah, You're I know still I showing up, you son of a bitch. Nope. And I will watch what I say. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Yeah, but Slim is right, though, because, man, I was right outside of the place. Well, after you get done doing your quest, um, uh, you step outside, and it's like level 39 to 41 item uh, mobs. Crypto, I was 13 killing them, dude. How? Uh, just because. You just... Is your uh, No. No, no, no. B because it's just the way you play your character. I mean, you know, I had to do a little kiting, but the way my character was set up is... Slow movement and um, stuns, basically. Seriously, so you took down Fuck nuts. yeah. Yes. Yes, I did. That is insane. I yeah. don't think I could ever do that. Well, yeah, you can. Crypto, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a... Well, I can't, you can't be a clicker in this game. But it's just uh, the way that uh, Sorks are set up. And, and like Slump said, but stamina users, what you want to do when you're going to do that quest, you want to find somebody that A, can make you... Um, the food to boost your stamina up so far, you know, as far as you can, because that's what you're going to live uh, off of stamina. Yeah. So, and plus, one of the vampire abilities that you get, you get to turn into a, like a mist, and you take like 75% less damage. Nice. As you're healing. As you're healing for like, oh, wow. like five seconds or ten seconds. But it's enough to fill your bar back up. So. Yeah, so it, it's it's not hard to do. I mean, if, if you know how to play your character, then you're not going to have no problem at all. None. Huh. That is pretty cool. I mean, I don't want to do Vampire on this guy, because it doesn't fit my setup Ex here. But I'll definitely want to do the Werewolf one. Yeah, well, that's what I'm working on now. I mean, as soon as I can get it one way or the other, um, I'll have it. So, and Slum's like, yeah, if you got that, then we, you know, we have both. You know, we will have Vampire and uh, Werewolf. Yeah, so I told Slum, I said, yeah, I said, uh, Crypto just telling me about how he did one of those uh, chain things. And he's like, why aren't we running with with, uh, with Crypto? I'm like, uh, because he's, like, doing stuff. And, um, you know, so, oh, I told him, I said, because his, his, uh, game box is broke well what happened to well you know he was genuinely concerned you know i said i don't know i see he installed a dvd player on his uh computer and it just it fucked up yeah. steam and game up that that's actually leads me to a question do you guys have a dvd player on windows that works properly that allows you to just play regular dvds Mm, I have not tried to play a movie yet, but I do know with Windows 10, you have to get the media player for it. It doesn't come with it. Yeah, I mean, as far as I can see, there is no media center anymore for Windows 10. Mm -mm. I think you have to you have to get a third-party program that runs with it. So I just gotta figure out which one works now. Mm -hmm. I won't just stand here and watch. Make the werewolves pay.
Lion Guard, hold your ground. <laughs> I didn't realize that Elder Scrolls has such a cool role, uh, lore. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty wild. Vampires, werewolves, fucking awesome. So soon, I got. I almost got this whole area filled out. Find General Mondin. I'll signal the others to move in. Yeah, I'm trying to pick up, finish up this this area so I can move on. What? So, Cryptor, you kind of keep up with it. So has He's Trump so been booted from uh, pre uh, the race? No, hell no. Oh, okay. No, he's doing shockingly well. Well, the reason why I asked is because he said that stuff about wanting to, you know, if he becomes president, he's kicking out all Muslims. Yeah, he's uh, saying a whole bunch of shit. It's kind of weird. Well, I get it, but the president... Hold on, fucking him. I guess the president's wanting him to be uh, disqualified. Uh, no, not the president, but uh, there's a whole bunch of petitions to get him disqualified. There's petitions in a couple countries to prevent him from ever entering those countries because he's such a racist and a whole bunch of other stuff. The camp is ours. We can't hold. I don't see him. Now, I don't... This sounds kind of crazy. I don't... Why is that book over there for? I got that book. God dang it. Man, fire is so well done here. Nice. Um... I don't want to call him a racist per se as of right now. Now, when he gets into presidency and then he starts talking stupid shit, you know, uh, getting people out of the country that he feels is uh, unsafe for us. Okay, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no way to do any type of 
background check on them to find out. I mean, it was proven in California. What? What do you mean proven in California? Oh shit. Um. You know, you didn't you hear about the big mass shooting in California? Yeah. Okay, the chick that done that, she had an American license. I mean, she was an American. I mean, she was Muslim, yeah, but didn't, she was... Uh, well... Everybody's saying it's not them, to start with. But I know, they're trying to say it's three tall white guys that did it. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people that uh, are witnesses that are saying it. Well, I'm just saying, using as an example, they're trying to set up a way to um, evaluate everybody that comes in. You you can't evaluate everybody. That's what I'm trying to say. Impossible. You can evaluate them. You might not be able to do a background check. Uh, I mean, people change their mind too. I mean, just because we're all you're all happy now doesn't mean that you're not gonna be I don't know joining KKK three years from now. You know, it's, right. people fucking change their mind. Shit happens. Um. So, I mean, I don't know, it's a tough nut to crack. I mean, you can let somebody in who's really nice, polite, and they could very well change after a couple of years of uh, being an immigrant and, you know, dealing with shit that you have to deal with when you're entering a new country. Right. You never know. Or they're just lying, fuck. I mean, people that want to get in, they'll lie, you know? Well, I know, but they were saying doing psychological uh, profiling on um, 72 hours in psych ward and... That uh, just sounds stupid, I don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying, you just can't... Yeah, it's, you can't. I mean, people that are, like, professionals, they'll get through that shit, doesn't matter what you do. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, and that's what it'll make sense to me, is that they're saying all this stuff, but look at the spies in all countries. They get through just in a snap because they're, tr they're they're trained to control their eyes their breathing you know yeah so I mean it might protect you from couple not jobs but the guys that you really want to keep out they don't even give a fuck about that kind of stuff they know exactly what to do how to behave So it's, uh, I mean, the bottom line is, I mean, shit, I mean, I don't know, there's really no way to fix it other than not pissing other people off in other countries, you know? I mean, you you guys are getting a lot of... Shit? Well, it, it's it's like feedback, you know? Like, you, you, can, you can kill only so many people in other countries and meddle in shit. Eventually, it might take a year, 10, 20, 100 years, but eventually shit comes back. And well, and plus, another thing is to if you go back and look at the other presidents, and I really don't want to say Bush, but like, like Reagan, they came over here and killed two people. We went over there and took care of it. They were yeah. scared of us. Now we have a, I'm not going to call him a pussy because he's not a pussy. He just has different ways of, um, I don't know how to explain it. He has different ways of doing things. Cool. And Obama. Oh, okay. You know, he is spineless, and he, you know, but the things, that, I mean, if you look at the things that he has done good versus the things he's doing bad, the bad overweighs the good, of course, but they're like, huh, I I mean, he's not going to attack us, so we're going to pull this shit, oh, and he I bows down to him, or he, he apologizes. See, if that was Reagan or any of the other ones... It probably would be World War Three. You're looking. At, we're bringing. To be honest with you, that's what would have happened. Uh, um, uh, what? I, I've lost you. We sent word to all. Okay. Darian. Like I said, when Reagan was in office, the first time uh, they did, uh, they killed some of our people. Who? Um, uh, I think it was Libyan. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what he do? He went over there and bombed the fuck out of their country. <laughs> they were good for 25 years. Okay, so we're not going to be able to fuck with America. They're not going to play with us. Because you know if they would have went to Russia, uh, uh, Bor uh, what's his name? Um, 
What was the president back then when Reagan was here? Oh fuck, I don't know, but you don't wanna... Gorbachev! They would just fucking level that country. That, that's what I'm saying. If, if, if you allow people to do stuff, walk all over you, that's what they're gonna keep on doing. Yeah. And that's what Obama's doing, he's allowing the... Because he is Muslim, he's... he's A, he's allowing them in because he's got a master plan. Or B... He's just not a war type person. He's a pacifist. One of the two. Allowing who in? I don't understand what we're talking about. Allowing the terrorists to come over here and do this stuff, or the, or the people, or the the country. The even if it's our own people, you know. Well, what what does he have to do with it, though? I mean, they came in like legally. They passed through all the shit that everybody else passes through. Okay, back to Reagan. When they came, when the Libyans were over here and they killed our people, we went over there and bombed the fuck out of their country. So the Muslims, or the radical Muslims, also not all Muslims, but the radical Muslims came over here, blew something up, killed our people. Obama's like, oh, wait a minute now, calm down, let's look at this another way. Instead of going, okay, we're going to go bomb the fuck out of them, make them understand you can't come over here fucking with us. Uh, well, if you keep killing everybody, that's all you're gonna get back, though. Like, how do you expect anything to get better? Well, no, I, I, I'm not saying it's right, Grifter. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that the, the difference in the presence of, of of the old to the new, because we're messing with with a um, a religion that doesn't give a fuck at all. I I dispute that. Like, what, why do you think you're messing with a religion? Okay, every time something happens in the United States or anywhere, um, you have them screaming whatever, that, that Koran crap stuff. I can't say crap because I don't know it. Okay. But if you look up if you look up anything to do with the Koran, uh, everything is, if they don't bow down to you, you cut their fucking heads off. If they are not you, you cut their fucking heads off. Everything out of like 20 scriptures right in a row, it's killed the infidel. Anything... Yes. Close. Did you read it? I read it. Yeah. No, you didn't read it. You didn't read, read, read the part of it, dude. It's nothing like that. Okay, hold on. Trying to find it. I got it bookmarked. I was gonna tell. I was gonna tell you about it the other day. Yeah, there's crazy sections in it, just like in Bible and everything else. Nothing really different. But I don't think I don't think the normal Bible has. I don't know. I'm, I'm I, just, I I can't find it now. It's making me mad. What don't you think? What do you mean a normal Bible? What does that mean? No, not no, a ordinary Bible, not a normal Bible, because no Bible is normal, because everybody has their own version. Well, the King James version is just a translation. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I'm not. I like if you want to read the, the the parts that are not in, let's say, the I don't know, Protestant version or Catholic version. Read the King James version of the Bible, which is like a straight translation they did back in like 1600s, and they didn't take or add anything. They just translated everything in England. Oh, I wish I could find that page again. Dang it! Oh, I know that I know the passages of uh, killing people that are not Muslim and all that other garbage. Um, yeah, I mean it's 
there's not it's not much different than the Bible really. The Bible has some harsh shit in it, like, like killing people for stupid fucking reasons. Stoning people, killing women because they're not listening. Uh, right. There's stupid shit in the Bible like you wouldn't believe. It just matters who reads it. And it's like, uh, it's a good example. KKK. They read the same Bible you read, but somehow they come to a really different conclusion. I don't know about that. I don't know what fucking Bible they read, but you're right, it is kind of fucked up. Yeah, it's crazy. People will be crazy. I mean, assholes will be assholes. Gangster will be gangsters. They can pretend to be something else, like ISIS. That's not fucking Muslim country. That's just a bunch of fucking... Idiots? Uh, well, I don't know. I'd say they're pretty fucking smart. I mean, they're making fucking millions of dollars every day on shit. I mean, they're doing horrible things, but... You know, I don't believe you can build an empire. Like, they're, they're fucking have a country, dude. Like... It's a bunch of mercenaries, essentially, that right. fucking figured a way to get shit from US, get shit from other countries, and then they just killed everybody. You know, there, there, there's some, there must be some smart people in there. Well, they were trained by the United States for yeah. one. Yeah, they, they, a lot of, well, the, the original. Yeah, and they got all that for free. I mean, shit. If we try it, I bet you we won't be able to get anything for free. Well, no. You know, what I'm saying is, like, there's some pretty bad, very bad people, but smart people in there, too. I don't know. I mean, I don't, well, I don't see crypts or bloods having their own country in fucking Southern California. <laughs> you know, these guys... No, not these yet. Guys, these guys did it. They actually did it. It's crazy. And they make... What? Uh, at least 80 million dollars a month or something crazy like that on selling shit like they, they're selling the gas they're selling the uh, fucking uh, all the old shit that uh, that they they stole um, f like fucking uh, all the museums and all those antiquities and shit they're selling that shit for big money like they're making a fucking killing and you know what's gonna happen eventually What's that? Eventually they're all gonna die, like US, Russia, whatever, they're all gonna kill them. But the guys that run the fucking thing, they're gonna be fucking laughing in fucking in their town, uh, fucking townhouses or whatever in London and with the fucking hundred million dollar bank accounts. I bet you that's what's gonna happen. Could be right. No, the f it's always the same fucking thing. The people that fight, they actually believe what they fight for, they're just gonna fucking die. The people that yeah. mastermind the whole thing, they're not going fucking anywhere. It's like uh, fucking all these once in a while you you read about uh, fucking government officials from different countries in Africa. You know, like they get millions of dollars from states all the fucking time, if not billions. And once in a while, like once every couple months, one of them and just retires or something, and all of a sudden you see that his fucking children are all driving fucking Bugattis. Everybody leaves yeah. in London or New York and some other shit. It's gonna be fucking the same. Money goes. It's disgusting, it's sick. I bet you that's what's gonna happen. It's always the fucking suckers that do that dirty work that pay. Right. Well, I think if you go to any country, doesn't matter, Ethiopia, doesn't matter. You abide by their laws and you learn their culture if you want to live there. Oh, fuck yeah. Because... Now this, now I, I do, one thing that does piss me off and it's just, and it's just re more recent with the Muslims being here, but it's been going on for years. I mean, the black people's been doing it, you know, the Mexicans been doing it, but uh, crying over stupid shit. Oh, yeah. That's fucking... Oh, my God. He said Merry Christmas. Come on, really? That, that shit's been around for 
thousands of years. You know, so if somebody tells you Merry Christmas, you say thank you and move on. Even if you don't like it, don't fucking mouth off. Just don't say yeah, that, anything. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Just fucking go your own way. Yeah. Okay. Well, be polite about it, you know, say yeah. thank you, you know, or say, hey, that's not my religion. Okay, fine. Happy holidays, you know. But you have, and it's just not them, it, it's the, uh, um, what are the other people? Uh, like the rednecks. Oh, fuck them, yeah. you know, they can't say Merry Christmas. They get, no, I don't have a problem with you my first living. You can live anywhere you want to. You know, you're the one that's making the money. Well, fucking, those, okay, the whole thing about taking native land, you know, from natives aside, U.S. has always been a Christian country. Always. You know, yeah. it's not like Poland and Europe or some most of the European countries where they were pagan and shit changed over time. Like, the right. US from day one was a Christian country. And it's a Christian custom, so you fucking, you know, like, what's the... I don't understand the problem. See, I don't either, and that's what I'm trying to figure out myself, Crypto. Like, I don't... Why is everybody's fighting over stupid shit? It's dumb. Yeah, like, nobody's looking at the important shit that happens in the world. They're all gonna fucking post their fucking Twitters and shit about that. Well, and that's like, I don't know if maybe you posted, but um, I, I, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But um, a lady was talking in her native language um, in the store or something, and, and some, I'm gonna call him a redneck because, you know, what he said to her, but, you know, he's like, you know what, uh, you know, speak, you know speak English or go back to your country or whatever she's like uh, I'm speaking in Navajo if you want to speak English go back to England <laughs> that was I mean that was the greatest thing I mean I was like wow you know this this chick shut this motherfucker down with like two sentences that was yeah that's a cool I mean yeah it's, it's kind of sucks that it had to happen that way or well it didn't have to but it, it did happen that way but it is what it is Right. We didn't do it, you know. We, do it. we pay for it. Yeah. Well, you will. But uh, I wonder what's gonna happen in Canada because, like, things were different, right? Like, we, after the war, we had Canada and states. You guys went and kicked the shit out of Indians, and we went and signed treaties with ours instead of fighting, right? But nobody really followed up on that shit, so now we're slowly getting to a point where they're really fucking pissed off, you know, and they they want uh, what was promised kind of thing. Well, we signed treaties with them too, but we lied to them. You know, we, oh yeah, we'll give you land. Well, the land kept on getting smaller and smaller, and now, I mean, they have approximately maybe 300, 400 acres per Maybe more than that, but it's not what it was when we came over. Oh, really? Oh, well. Yeah, see, I don't know that. Oh, yeah. Well, it's one of those things, you know, like, I hate to say this, but the whole thing of, you know, ma whether it's Muslims or ISIS or gangsters versus Western world, it doesn't matter, but in the grand scheme, scheme of things, as much as a, it's a horrible thing to say, and I hate to admit it, but for us, you and me, the best possible thing would be if they fucking went in there, leveled everything. Hold on, Chris. Go ahead. You know, that'd be, for you and me, that'd be the best fucking possible thing. For like everyday people living in North America or Europe or, or any of these places, that's it's a bad, bad way of doing things. But it'll be the best for us. Fucking even I mean like I don't believe this is Christianity versus Islam, for example. But at the same time. I have to admit that if, for example, everybody outlawed Islam right now in all our countries, we'll be better off. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying fucking kill them off. I mean, just you know, send them back home nicely. You know, what I'm saying, say, so, hey, we have issues over here. 
Well, you know what? Even give them you an could... option. You know, you go fucking home and live like you want to live, or you stay here and you live how we want you to live. Some fucking short and simple shit. Well, I, I just bet the crypt are the way it's been in the last been... six months to a year. They're gonna say, "Fuck off!" Yeah, like they're doing in England. I mean, they're oh, overrunning fuck. England right now like nuts, That's dude. That's horrible. Yeah, England, fucking France. Germany, all these countries. It's is, is, is Germany pretty bad? Because I haven't seen any videos for Germany. I've just seen See, for, like, Britain. What's happening is France has a shit ton of Muslims from Africa, right? Because they have that south coast that mm -hmm. in a couple spots is, like, super fucking close to Africa. You can actually grab a boat and in a couple days get over there. So that's what they right. do. They, they have millions of them in there. So that's their problem. Fucking Germany opened up to Turkey a while back. They have a shit ton of people from Turkey. Like, a, a shit ton. And fucking UK is just a mess. I don't even know what they're gonna do. I know, I watched that video, man, where they fucking was sitting there. Um, the Muslims attacked some dude driving down the street. I mean, they was in the way, and they literally attacked his, attacked him. And there was like 30 of them, and all of a sudden you seen this car like speed by and hit like 20 of them, dude. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that was UK, but it was one of the European countries anyway. Right. But that's, I mean, people are fucking... Like, what do you do? Like, if you drive down the street and you see fucking 50 guys punching your wife, like, what do you do? You get out, you're just gonna die. Fucking the only thing you have is your car. Fucking right, run right over them. Once again, horrible fucking odd thing to do, but I mean, it's, there is situations where it's, you know, you or them. And there is no nice way of fucking ending that kind of shit. And see, and we're still considered a new country. Oh, well, Comparison yeah. to, you know, Almost everybody, really. Well... Canada and States. I don't want to say we're a new country. We're a new... A revised country. Because the Indians were here way before, you know, we were. So... If we didn't take this country, let's say. Or we shared it, like... Kind of like you guys did with Canada. Where would we be at in technology? You know what I'm saying? Where would we have been? How would we have reacted? You know, would we have went through the whole renaissance like England did? You yeah. know, or our own version, you know? I don't believe so. And that's what I, that's another thing that I was, we was discussing at work is that our country is fucking new. We haven't even... Uh, 200 years? Fucking England's got... Yeah, they have fucking churches <laughs> older than that. Yeah, and so we're still pussified. You know what I'm saying? We, we get everything handed to us. You know, we have a lot of poor areas, but compared to like England and Poland and, and France and, and even Russia, they have went through so many changes over the, over a thousand years. Has nothing yeah. to, I mean... Well, if you think about it, you know, all these countries, Russia, Poland, none of them started communist, you know? That... <clears throat> Like, even Russia wasn't a communist country, you know? They had a Tsar, like a king, essentially, and shit was pretty different, so... The changes that all other countries that have been around for a long time went through are pretty drastic. Way, way, way. Hopefully you won't have to experience that. Well, we... I still think that the reason why he is acting the way he is fucking acting is because he wants to he wants to shut down America and he wants martial law where he doesn't have to leave. And I think if that happens it's not going to be good at all. Oh no, that would be fucking horrible for everybody, including him. He doesn't know that, but it would be the worst fucking thing he can do for himself. Yeah, that's, yeah, I was taking a drag, but yeah, yeah he don't know what he's getting into. Somebody would fucking get him. There's just, there's just no... Oh, about yeah, it. there'd be an assassination, like, quickly.
Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe he would last 10, 20, 30 years, but sooner or later, Tim and his whole family will be fucking busted. I don't, I don't, I'd be surprised if he even thought about anything like that, just because he fucking, I think he stole so much money and made so many scams and deals that he, he's probably, his family's good for the next fucking hundred generations. Obama's really? Think you think so? so? There's, there's just too much weird stuff that you, that uh, I've been hearing that like you guys talked about, like weird fucking laws that he passes that nobody seems to like, some weird fucking Obamacare that doesn't fucking benefit anybody but the company surrounding it. It's like it's weird. Well, yeah, that's that's yeah, exactly. So like, why would he even start unless somebody said, hey, you know what, you fucking do this for us, we'll give you one percent of all the money we make, which probably ends up being like fucking hundred million or something. And he's not a stupid guy, he's far no, from stupid. No, he's, I don't know if if you read about his times in, was he in Chicago, right, I think? Yeah. And he's a brutal fucking politician, it's fucking brutal and fucking corrupted to the core. And Chicago is a fucking tough place too. But, you know. And that thing is, is that all these people are a bitch complaining. Well, motherfuckers, you voted him in the second time, so yeah. I don't want to hear it. That is true. That is true. I voted once. <laughs> that was it. I wish you guys had more options. That always pissed me off. You either vote for left or right, nothing else. It seems like such a fucking messy. To do this. Well, you've seen how all the Tea Party just disappeared. What happened? There isn't one. I mean, it's just, it's been shut down. I mean, it's just... I, you never hear about it. Not in the news. It, it's just fucking not there. I mean, I don't know if, if people are switching or, or what. So the only place they could go is Republican, right? Yeah, well, well, liberal. Do you guys have liberals? Well, we have a liberal, liberal fucking group, but they never run. Oh, okay. They they're not big enough. No. I get to that fucking book. Yeah, I was always fucking fascinated by, by states, man, because I talked to a lot of you guys. Like, everybody I know is from states, pretty much. And it's like, it's the weirdest fucking thing. It's like a huge country filled by really good people, but they're run by fucking some Satanist Nazis or something. It's so fucking bizarre. Like you talk to Americans, like you got you Islam, any, anybody really that I know, it's like yeah, people just want to fucking live, you know. It's not like everybody wants to just fucking start wars and shit. People just want to do their own shit, send their kids to college and all that fucking stuff that everybody else wants. But the government acts like it's a fucking it's on a holy war. No, oh, and that's what <laughs> that's what everything is. Every you know, if you notice everything that's been going on, it's all about fucking religion. There's nothing nobody's talking about money, nobody's talking about fucking nothing else. Uh, anything. Really. Yeah, nothing else. Like all of a sudden nobody even talks about lower fucking minimum wages, lack of like nope. medical, all the fucking homeless people. You know, like all Oh no, shit. we no, we've got people talking about fucking Stupid ass fucking minimum wage, and it's stupid. It's dumb. Fucking people work at McDonald's wanting fifteen dollars an hour. Come on, do you guys not understand what's going to happen if that 
gets raised to fifteen dollars an hour. Ah, uh, we'll take it seventeen here. Motherfuckers, you think cost of living is high? You raise that to fifteen dollars an hour and see what happens. Uh, that's true. That is true. I mean, yeah, cost of living down for you guys is a lot lower. A lot lower. You, you know, I've got friends that work at Walmart, dude. And actually, I got a friend, she's a female friend, well, sure. a female friend, that she just found out she was pregnant. And, uh, I mean, she's with her boyfriend, and, I mean, they're going to get married, but not right now. But, um, fuck, they can't find a place to live. And he, he works in construction. And I'm like, what are you going to do? She's like, I don't know. She said, I guess we're going to move back to her mom, uh, his mom's. That's not a, that's not, an, I didn't tell her, but that's, that's not a way to raise a fucking family. Yeah, that's not, that's not healthy. You know? No. Things were pretty different when we were younger, huh? Like, th shit is changing so fast. Like, we'll, I don't know. I don't know. Who knows, like it's the possibility of fucking third world war that's gonna start in that area. What we talked about is fucking more and more likely by what the news says. It's going cool, in. Well Dude we got to blame. You have fucking you have Russians, you have states, Britain. Uh, everybody's in there. Everybody's fighting. Sooner or later, somebody's gonna shoot somebody by mistake or not, doesn't matter, but it's gonna s fucking do like a domino effect, you know? Mm -hmm. Have you ever found anything to show that you've accomplished an area? Uh, like a hundred percent? Like achievements? Uh, yeah, I know there's achievement somewhere. I don't know, so that's the there's collections, journals, skills, character, inventory. Keep watch. I won't be long. I seen achievements. Fuck. Somewhere in there. I gotta tell you, man, I'm really liking this game. I lit the signal fire. Let's move on. There's no button for why, motherfucker. I had an awesome interview today. Fucking unbelievable. Oh, how'd that go out? I had no fucking idea. <laughs> but the company and the job is just... Uh, if I get this, I'd be fucking shocked. <laughs> no, no shit, huh? It's an IT startup. It's one of those Watch. places that has on. more money than brains. <laughs> Journal. That's it. It's all in there. Nice. Yep, it tells you the books that you've gotten. I don't tell you where they're at, though. I don't have ten of anything. Four, six. 
for your achievements. Okay, sky shards, here we go. Wow, I have dealt one million points of damage in dungeons. Nice. So they have stats that detailed, huh? Nice. Mm hmm. Group dungeons, defeat the Goblin Warchief and Fungral, Spindle Cult. No veterans. Oh, exploration. Here we go, General. Daggerfall Covenant. So I guess the ones that I'm missing... Oh shit, no, Glim. Keep watch. I won't be long. It's not broke down enough. Because Daggerfall Covenant, I've got quite a few. It doesn't, it doesn't tell you, um... Crazy. So I've only got two books left of biographies. I guess you just have to would have to know what you're looking for on the achievements. I guess there's that movie, I need, I need to watch that movie, it's called, uh, um, Black Mirrors. I heard the title, I don't know what it is though. It's a, um, supposedly it's about, a, it's, it's a movie about technology and how technology has truly screwed up, uh, our shit. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, somebody was telling me to watch that. Me.
gone and cough. I did your bidding. The city is mine. Dare challenge me? Prepare to fear in my wrath. The fire shall not destroy me again. Are you doing cooking? Uh, yeah. So fucking addicted to coffee. It's scary. You did it. You killed Fal Chu. Yes, my friend, but you turned the tide. My son may know more than me on that matter. Yes, throughout Glenumbra. We rebuilt. Of course we still I didn't know Gloria. I wanted to thank you. First, I'm resigning from the Camlorn Guard. Never did like you. And what are you going to do? First one to reach Angoth buys the first box. I'm going to make sure these people... I had a drink. A squad of Lion Guards. Please help me. This isn't a good time. Heart is heavy. Well, I think I'm gonna reach fourteen shortly. Fucking night. Nice. Haven't had any luck with uh, the random group finder, but that's probably mostly because I'm such a low fucking level. I can get some of these fucking crowns though, because I want some of the shit in that store. I should be able to get some loose for Christmas, I'm sure. I mean, you always do. Yeah, I'll figure something out. those mounts, I don't know if you um, listen to their podcast or whatever, but they offered those mounts when the game came out but uh, it was just PC back then so the mm -hmm. console, now that they released on both consoles, those guys are whining that they never had a chance to buy them so that's why which is true Yeah, which, that's why they're putting them back on sale uh, like this end of December 
But they're only gonna be there for like a week. I'll be getting one, I'll guarantee it. That's not going to happen. The polar bear looks pretty awesome. After playing my goddamn Sork, man, playing this tank sucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's just because this guy, you have to get up and personal. Mm -hmm. Sork, they're dead before they get to me. Yeah, I'm doing cooking and I'm doing alchemy, which I think everybody should do alchemy. Yeah. Is it yeah. potions? Yes. Uh, do you think cooking is better or alchemy is better? Well, cooking gives you 35, I'd say probably up to maybe 45 minute um, um, stat buffs, but you can only have one food like so if you do well the the green food or the normal food you can only do like it usually comes in one stat like increased health mm -hmm. or stamina or magic but the blue food that i can make it'll do stamina and health or stamina and magic it makes it a lot bigger you know for 35 to 40 minutes uh, so you yeah fuck I, I could really use health potions and shit like that. Yeah, because like my Krim Dementa, it's uh, increased health recovery by 157 and magic recovery by 144 for an hour. Rabbit Loin is increased max health by 1579 and max uh, stamina by 1444 for an hour. Thanks. 
Okay, I'm gonna send you some crafting. Uh, I think I got a crafting recipe for provisions. Should I do uh, uh, provisions? Are you putting points in both of those that you uh, mentioned? No, you don't have to put points in them. If if you want to make the the better stuff, that's when you start putting points in. But like oh. like Slump said, um, you could do them all on one character. But you know, it's the points that you use. I'll give you some food too. Where's the other one? Alright, so I sent you a recipe for spicy beef salad recipe. Okay. Uh, stuff uh, cap on, which increases your health by 1381 and your stamina by 1246 for an hour. Uh, max health for 5779 and stamina for 444. It's level 15. Um, but the, the stuff cap on, it's level 10. And I think the rest of it's like level 15. But you'll use it, I'm sure. You're melee, aren't you? Yes. Do you have a problem with your stamina yet? Uh, no, I'm putting points into stamina. So far it's been okay. Okay, I'm sending you some stuff. Oh, another thing too. When you achieve, when you do something that, that you know, shows up as an achievement, if you find a, a die station, you can die your armor for free. That's only, yeah, that's the only way that uh, you can do uh, dying. Um, is if you look at your achievements, um, like it'll, it has like if it has a little chest by it, you get new dies unlocked. Oh man, I didn't know. Yeah, I just found out because I dyed my armor on my other guy. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Let's go see what type of dyes this guy has, because I don't, I don't know if it's account bound or not, so... Oh, another thing is to need to look into um, weight, because weight has something to do with your uh, your mount speed too. Just to let you know. Hmm. Ding fourteen. Congrats. Thank you, sir. Dame Clarique didn't expect you to go charging. I understand. This is my battle. There's an alchemy station. What can I make? Increase weapon potions. Hmm. So I learned two different ones. I got Sip of Savage Spell Power, which restores health immediately, grants major fortitude, increases your health recovery for forty-five uh, for ten seconds. So potions are pretty quick, I guess. Ok, 
Okay, they don't do nothing. Free, thanks to you. Okay, so I can make Savage Spell Power, Sip of Savage Health, which is only 45 se uh, 10 seconds, 10.5. So actually, these are dead. They're. Except for. Yeah, they're just like heal potions, but they've got different attributes to them. Oh, here's a dice station. Wow, I've actually... Eh. Oh, you can even, uh, die your, um... You can't do your weapon, but you can die your shield. Oh, really? Nice. Not too many games that you do that. Dude, I got black already. Fucking cool. Or you can randomize. I don't 
like the random at all. Ooh, I like that. Yes, I do. used to scare me with to slip in unnoticed and rescue him as we made our escape we were overrun by Bainkin father cast some kind of spell dying is easy dude and it don't cost anything sweet I've never known such fear Greetings. Bloodthorn cultists made a mess. So I see. Sent the cultists right into our waiting blades. Good job. Bloodthorn. So I see. See, and then what bothers me is I got two points to spend, but I'm afraid to spend them. <laughs> 